Good morning, I'm Lynn, and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Before we go inside, I thought I'd stop by and look at the rams. They're looking a little chilly, I think, because the temperature hasn't broken yet. It's still brutal out here. And the Briggs' big surprise is Arnie just delivered the two bottle babies. She says no, in the one half for sure. Does she? That's right. And which I'm not sure side? It the other which, which side? The, the small side. Has milk? Yeah. Lots of milk in it. Huh? Well, there we go. So they'll be kind of top up lambs then. I don't know if the other side is already checked yet. And this lamb here uh, is uh, probably going to give us some drugs. Yeah, it's breathing heavy. But it's eh? not because it's sick, but uh, it's. Uh, so uh, when I, uh, it took quite a long time for the birth, and I have a funny feeling this sheep here, this backwards one, wanted to come out first. Yeah. They're both showing the same entrance, but that lamb did come out first, and this lamb might have been under a little stress. Oh. So it's got to be kept warm today, and I keep feeding him. We had lambs with that before, they look a little bit. Yeah. He's not, he's not looking that bad. He's, uh, Has anything been done with them yet? They're all fed. But uh, we gotta feed him again. He watch. He's just sleeping. Were they just, just born now, or? No, they're born at uh, breakfast. Oh. At uh, they were born at six o'clock. So they gotta be fed again. But I would give this one a drug. So I don't know what the cure for that is. Maybe just time. But I'm thinking probably gonna do a drug for just safety backup. But he's okay. You see, he's not. He's, he's okay. He's just weak. It's been stressful for him. He's, does so he have a hot water bottle there? Not yet. Okay, I'll go get one. And she's a scratcher, so if she won't leave him alone, I'm going to put uh, a second panel right here and keep the lamb away from her. Well, at least now she's eating, so. She, she and wants the lamb up, and he won't get up. He's actually quite weak in his legs. Well, maybe by the time she's eaten, she'll get over it. Good thing we got her trimmed off. But if you want to do the hot water bottle, yeah, I'm gonna. But I would give him, uh, I would give him a, a little, uh, a little uh, cup of tea, a couple of, uh, mils of uh, drugs, uh, just uh, for a backup. In case you ask about these uh, newborn lambs, it has um, a lung problem right now. Just, and you can see it's just breathing a little heavier. So it just could have had a tougher birth, which it did. It was backwards. And uh, usually they are, they straighten out in a few hours. We did give him some drugs just in case he inhaled a little bit of fluid. Um, right now they're under a towel and they're on top of a hot water bottle and they're lying together and they're in fresh clean straw. As you can see, they're also um, kind of behind a gate mom's over here she looks very calm and she is a really calm you the problem is that she is very um, excited about her lambs not in the frantic way but she wants them to get up and nurse and they want to lie down and relax right now so what she was doing was scratching them to try get them to get up which of course can hurt the lamb with those hooves scratching at them and it also doesn't allow them to have the, a nap so this is a common thing that can happen with ewes and lambs and usually the best thing is to just block them off for a few hours and when the lambs get up and they're ready to nurse on their own then take it down and let them in with her and usually by then it's passed but if she, if they nurse and then go to lay down and she still is scratching at them, then you keep doing it until she stops. But usually it don't, it's only in the very beginning. I haven't checked her, but Arnie says she has milk on one side, so that's better than we had hoped for. Um, what happened last year with the reason she got mastitis is because she had really aggressive lambs and 
I guess they were fighting over the nipple because the nipple was really torn to shreds. Um, scabs on it and everything and um, it got infected. So that's what happened to her. Some lambs will do that. It's very common with triplets where they're fighting over a nipple. One will latch on and the third one will want to get on too. But because the other two don't want to come off, they bite down on the mom. And that is the problem with trying to nurse triplets on a mom. Because you know when they get called in, it's never one at a time. They all want to go at the same time. Straw day again. all that? Do they eat all that in a day? Between all of them. They're all back there because they have a nice clean straw bale back there. A couple of them are up front eating. And a few more are coming back now because uh, they're going to discover that the new creep feed was poured out for them. Here comes a straw bale for the Suffolk lambs now. Most of them are staying out of the way because they think I got something. excitement is about that new bale. But it's, uh, they copy each other, eh? If one does it, then they think they all have to. It's really weird behavior. Like, why are they doing that? They want, they want to have fun. Does that look like fun? Yeah, they they're they're fun. squishing each other. They're bored. They want the mothers out of here, and the mothers want them out of here. I came back to the milk house to make the bottles for the suffix, and I didn't notice, but I had a little follower from behind me. Hi. What were you doing sneaking along behind? You wanted to get all your own private feeding. And you've been playing in the cobwebs in the milk house. Yeah, you are a clever, clever girl, I think. You sure are. You're really clever. Let's see what number you are. Five, five, three. There, get that out of your face, isn't that? Whoa, you're a guzzler. You're like you're almost finished. That's just 
talented. Yeah, you're very talented. Oh, that is, yeah, you're done, baby. That was unbelievably speedy. Okay, it's time to go back to feed the others. Come on now. You've had your special treatment. Come on. Come on out. Come on. There you go. Alrighty then, let's go. Come on. Come on. Can you still with me? There you are. You're being mighty silly. Come on. Don't you know that sheep don't like walking in snow? Come on. So the Suffolks are all happy now too. right now. There's Looney under the feeder and two others. Hi Looney. How you doing honey? You're a bit of a loner. Hi. You're very pretty though. The Suffolks are the rowdy crew. This, this group of Suffolks. The other group of Suffolks isn't such a rowdy crew. But these little guys are definitely a rowdy crew. Hi, you guys, you look like you're having fun. You're gonna get some clean straw in a second. Oh, and I did check the pedigree on the big black guy in here. And he's not from Jethro, he's from uh, Felon. Which is a surprise, because Felon usually does the shorter blockier type. <laughs> But uh, it's a felon son. That's why he's so pretty, because felon's quite a pretty ram, too. It appears really dark in this coverall today because there's snow on the roof hasn't melted off yet so it's making it seem a lot darker in here hi we can hardly see you in this lighting in the little dorset group you can see they're starting to lose their tails so they're just left with a bunny tail and this is what we find in the pens when that happens this is a tail, you see? And you can see at the very end is where the elastic was. So it just pinches the circulation off and in a few weeks it drops off. And you get the little tail like that. This guy, he still has his tail, but you can see how the end is getting smaller and it'll eventually just drop off. And Looney's lost her tail already. By the look of it, most of them have lost their tails in here right now. gonna get some hay and they're gonna get some bedding when you shut the doors at night it creates a lot of heat in here overnight and the heat in turn creates condensation which makes the bedding go wet so um, 
we don't like them to sleep in damp bedding, so we need to give them some dry stuff today. There's another tail in the ground there. They just drop off. And you can see the elastic on it. <laughs> Is that your tail? Is it? You look very pretty. <coughs> Sally has a little buddy there. <coughs> little you there? This is, this, is, this is how the bell rolls out. Well, that center core rolls, though, doesn't it? Doesn't that center co core roll out? You know what's curious is? In the, in the case here, there, there's hundreds of old combines. Get an old combine, this won't be found. It's a new combine. Here. Nobody, nobody wants an old combine. Watch out, you guys. I told Arnie we needed straw today, back here. But I didn't mean just back here, I meant all the lamb, the lamb groups. <laughs> so I don't think he's clued into that yet. Hey guys, that looks fun. That looks really fun up there. Hi. Hi you guys. You're, you're, you're way up top. More close-up shots in there because it's getting too dusty. I have to back off. That's the problem with this straw. It's really, really, really dusty. When you just roll the hay out, it's not too dusty at all. Groups are really wild group though. They always want to have fun in here. are all excited about it but as you can see most of the ewes just keep their head in the trough. Tinny where's Looney? Oh she's right behind you I see that. Well I think we're gonna call that a day. It's another cold day so not much is happening when it's this cold we don't like to do too much work just the bare minimal like yesterday so until next time thanks for watching bye for now